So right now, as you can see, I have a little dish here full of water and a decal of one of the um, light of uh, the uh, weird effects. Uh, you know, some of the decals that's on this kit, um, specifically that weird orange and yellow trim. I've been told I should have painted this, but I want to try this first on this part to see how it comes out. So first, I'm going to do. I've already. Um, I've already, uh, as you see, applied that there. I remove this part here. I'm going to wet this area, but just a tad. And then I'm going to put it here. Then grabbing, grabbing this. I'm just going to gently pull it and put it through there like so. Now apparently this thing wraps around from the inside, so... Using the Q-tip. I'm just trying to get it in there as best as I can. So it's in there all the way. Spread it out a bit so that way no bubbles form up. Let me get a dry q tip here to clean it up a bit. That should be fine. And I'm gonna put this in here. It's not dry yet. And the reason why I'm doing this is that there's another reason why I'm doing this, so let me get it in there first. Now I have a solvent called Microsol setting solution for decals which all I need to do is one pass and this type of dec um, solution melts the decal the part you only have to do it like a couple of times and then the solution goes into work there we go so after a good 10 minutes it should dry up and conform with the part this is, of course, one of the most difficult parts of this kit, which uh, I just did right now. Here's the other part, which uh, came out pretty good. Um, obviously, I could have painted it, but I wanted to try this first, see how it looks. Alright, so I'm going to finish up the decals, and we'll do a final review. So here it is, the Dustlock uh, Command Carrier, and the Gavaldas class Astro Battleship Carrier Darloid from the Space Battleship Yamato and Space Battleship Yamato 2199 series. As you see the uh, Darloid, of course, the, uh, the decals I applied. Um, there were other decals that supposedly supposed to go on this, but I decided to keep this on. Didn't feel like switching it up over and over. And there were other decals that goes on to this guy. But I put it on him. Thought it would be good. But um, yeah, this is this is great. This is actually my first ship build attempt in a long time, very long time. Um, came out really well, really well done. First time trying with the uh, with the pre shading. I know it could have been a little bit better, um, a little bit more streamlined, but. Um, I thought this was a great idea, a great uh, thing. This I'm more, I'm more impressed with how this came out than this. This one's already been detailed pretty well, but this one came out even better than I expected. I know what to do and not to do for my next series of ship builds when I get a chance to work on the other uh, Yamato kits that I want to do. So uh, this is something that I'm. This is actually um, kind of like a, a pre. Um, pre-building stage of me doing my project hopefully for calendar year of 2014 um, there's other great Yamato kits that's coming out uh, I would like to discuss this uh, in detail soon so uh, we'll you know stay tuned for my next video and we'll discuss that but yeah these are really cool kits I've done it uh, I liked it it came out pretty well 
I'd like to thank, uh, of course I have to give a shout out. This one I got through Image Anime. So thank you guys for Image Anime holding on to this. And this one I got this from MosquitoCon. So I wish I could give a shout out to the guy who sold it at the vendor. I don't remember. So if he's watching my videos, thank you very much. Wow, that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video build. I know it's a little longer than expected because of the holidays. I hope everyone enjoyed their holidays. And uh, what can I say about the thank you very much. And stay tuned for future Bandai model kits coming soon. You guys all take care.